Because their tails go by now on the grill. Once they get soft to squeeze on them, and squeeze on them nice and easy, pick them bad boys up, take them off the grill. Now the tails are done, we're going to be ready to go ahead and put steak on, green beans, everything ready to go. Be back with you just a minute. We'll put it all on the grill. It's time to come. Go ahead and get the beans on. Set the beans off to the side of the heat. A little bit off to the side because they're going to get hot. But you're going to have to stir them up. And take these beautiful steaks and put them right over the fire. Hear that sizzle? That sizzle what I'm talking about. Lay the steaks out nice and pretty right over the fire. You're going to have to keep your eye on them though. So you only want to turn them over just a couple of times to get the nice grill marks on them. Let them jokers cook just like that for a few minutes and we're going to turn them over and stir up the beans. Come on back. Alright, we're going to go ahead. Now your beans got a little bit going. Give them a little stir. Give them a little turn them over. They're in a hot pan now. So just give them a quick turn. We're letting the beans keep cooking, just like they are. Now we'll go ahead and give steaks a quarter turn. Get nice grill marks on them. Make them nice and pretty. Man, that one's giving me trouble. Before the turn. A few minutes. Turn them over, get them started on the other side. See you in a minute. Well, once you got your steaks flipped over, give them a couple of minutes on the other side. They're going to be nice and pretty and medium and just right for old paint ball to be ready to eat on. Take them off the grill. Man, look at that. Man, I'm pissing me around right there. Boy, I tell you. Well, anybody won't have him filled day in a minute. I'm going to have to get somebody to chew it up for me first, though. Mm-hmm. Man, that is just pretty. Throw it out there. We'll let the beans cook a little bit faster, so we're going to move them right over the heat. Close the lid. Be ready to go cut up some steak and potatoes. Green beans. See you upstairs. Well, after that dramatic experience, sorry y'all missed it, I'm going to go ahead and put uh, some food on the plate for you. Let's go ahead and start this thing out with one of these purdy, purdy, purdy steaks on there. We're going to add a few of these here green beans. We're just going to lay them out nice and purdy. Got to get a few more of them because they're good. Get a few more of those green beans on there with nice, a few chunks of garlic. Oh man! Now, in the hip of the household, we put a potato on the plate in the foil. You cut the foil. You add your butter. You add your salt. You add your pepper. You add your sour cream. You add your cheese. You add your baked bits. You add your chive. Whew! All right, that's all the stuff you got to add to make the baked potato taste good. There's your plate. There's the kids in the club. Garlic green beans. Baked potato. Guys, when you take a bite out of this thing, be real careful. Be real careful. Because your tongue might part it so hard that it's going to beat your brains half to death trying to lick it off the roof of your mouth. See y'all next week. Hang grill and hang ball. special surprise for those of you who want to try something a little different. Now we didn't put it in the show but it's the good little mushrooms. So to do the mushrooms you take a half cup of your burgundy, half cup, a little bit more of your pineapple juice, a little more than half a cup. Pour that in the pot, put in a couple of tablespoons Teriyaki sauce. Let's get that bird going. I'm gonna put the heat on it. Pour the mushrooms in. Get them clean and clean the mushroom. Pour the mushrooms in. Pour them in.
got some more mushrooms that are clean and ready to go. Pour them in. Now, I like to get all liquored up when I'm cooking. Now we're gonna take these fresh mushrooms and we're gonna let them cook on the right burner. <laughs> we're gonna let them cook. It's, it's the right burner. But we're gonna let the mushrooms cook till the sauce is boiled down by half. We got burgundy mushrooms to pour on top of it and keep stirring them. They'll be ready to go in a minute. Alright, now I'm really done for today. See y'all later.